and now the uh, first ever Biggest Bitch of the Week Award. Week 2. The biggest Bitch. Two. The Biggest Bitch of Week 2. And the nominees are... The nominees are the losers of Week 2. The Burritos are nominated for the we Biggest the Bitch of Week 2. Another nominee, Daddy Gristocrat. Losers in Week 2. Then you had Inglorious. Nominated for Biggest Bitch of the Week, Week 2. Queef Nuggets got rocked by a Croatian car bomb. So, the winner is... Uh, the obvious winner is the Queef Nuggets. Queef Nuggets. Uh, pure bitch. That's what this performance was last week. <laughs> uh, you had... Uh, Let's see what happened. Tell me why his team was so bad, please. I'm going to tell you right now. Because it is. It blows. <laughs> Joe Johnson, Johnny Flynn... David West. All right. The reason why it blows is because you got Mark Saul on your team, dude. You got Larry. Hughes you have anybody with over 80 points? You got Ronnie Brewer on your team, dude. You only have one person on your team with over 80 points for the week. Durant's nasty. You got some Italian dude on your team, man. And if you're getting 72 from Bill and Aueva and you still get the whack, Richard Jefferson turning into a bitch. Our test. That guy's psycho. What? How many texts did he get? Any? He only had one. Well, one our test had a t. Uh, he got teed up. Huh. Not too bad, man. I don't know, but uh, he lost again. And uh, this is kind of a makeup for week one when you just got totally destroyed by who did you play? That's right. You played the burritos. It won't be the first time. But uh, yeah, Nick, you are the biggest bitch of the week. I don't. Do you have any objections to that? No, I think it's pretty unanimous. Yeah. All right, well, you guys have a good week, and we'll see you next Wednesday. Congratulations, Nick.